Hey everybody, my name is Jewel Big Green. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm an artist and songwriter. I recently got the Del Taco placement. I submitted uh, a few different pitches and I was just lucky enough that they they uh, chose one. And then we got to work and I got to tailor the song towards how they liked it. My name is Chris Beak and I love Del Taco. Listen up, suckers, I'm about to rock yo. Whirl with my robs. It's about time to get some hell. So won't you I love it when they scratch the chicken. chicken. Put it in a taco. Sell it for one dollar, then I'll make it hot. Yo, crispy chicken. Put it in a taco. Sell it for one dollar, then I'll make it hot. Yo. I want to try that habanero one. That one looks really good. Even though, like, I already know I believe in my music and I know my stuff's good. This was a, like a nice validation for it. So this definitely was one of those milestone turning points where I was like, now I can say like, I'm a licensed songwriter. I'm a producer with placements. I've got a, you know, national placement. I had a lot of fun rapping the verse, though it's not me on the actual song. The actor that was going to play uh, the chicken guy, he used my vocals as a reference track. I heard about Song Trader from a friend of mine, a mutual friend of mine named Anna. She texted me, I think this company would be a good fit for you. So I said, okay, let me sign up. That placement came about from Anna. She was like, hey, I know you do custom work. Do you want to try and submit uh, some music for this? And I was like, I don't know exactly what type of music they're going for. So I'm going to get a bunch of different songs and I'll do it in a bunch of different styles. And then whatever one they like, I'll make a song tailored to that style. So I kind of went overboard and I made like seven or eight different um, pitches and I sent them all in. And then she's like, they like this one. So I was like, okay, this is my wheelhouse. And then we just went to working from there. So my experience with Song Trader, I would say it, it's been great for me. It definitely takes time and you gotta be patient with it and you have to work at it just like anything, any great thing takes time. Um, it was a while before I started making placements, but I feel like with more achievements comes more work. Like I, I took something really to heart with the Callie J interview on Song Trader was that she was talking about using her current and past placements to leverage them for more. And that made me think like, oh, you know, I've done some pretty cool things over time. I can actually use all those little things, not even just the most recent thing, and put them together and start submitting to people. Because before I was kind of just like, you know, sticking my foot out there, waiting for things to come to me and seeing what I could submit to. But now I'm like, I want to be proactive and try and go for more. And I feel like I'm in a good spot to do that. I became a, a song trader pro just because one, it's not that expensive. Cause there was other sites that we've been on like that. It costs like three times as much. So it kind of was a no brainer. I don't think I've ever been anything but a pro member. With pro, they will also uh, distribute your music. So I'm actually in the process of trying to gather my music from all the different places and just put it all in one place on the Song Trader Pro because, you know, instead of paying for it in five different places, just move it all in one place and keep it all there and call it a day. If I could give any artist a piece of advice, it would be to get out of your own way and just put yourself out there. Sometimes we're playing new musicians, sometimes we're, we're our worst critic and then we don't want to put stuff out. You know, I didn't want to put out these music videos because I'm like, oh, nobody's going to listen to them and this and that. And it's just like, no, it's like, get out of your way. Just like start to do it because you can't miss the shots that you don't take. <laughs> so you might as well just take them because, you know, if they do go in, then it's hey. And then if you miss, then it's like, oh, OK, well, how am I going to do it different? So that's I would say that's one loaded piece of advice that I would give to artists. <laughs>